Okay. So what project are you making right now? Uh, so at the moment we're making a mousetrap car, which is basically a tiny wooden or cardboard vehicle powered by the stored energy in a mousetrap. Okay, so what materials did you use? So personally we used wood and just rubber bands and pulleys, while others used cardboard and straws. Hi, um, I'm Elia and this is Juan and this is our mousetrap car. Ours was a lot of trial and error because we started off with wooden wheels and then the wooden wheels weren't exactly round so we remade them and then remade them again and eventually they actually didn't work so then we switched them out for CDs and these um, mason jar holders um, and drilled a hole in them and the reason why these are two different sizes is because momentum wise so this is the back is higher so it's kind of tilting forward which will allow it to go um, more distance faster um, I'm Dashers uh, I'm I'm Lauren <laughs> and this is our mousetrap car we're doing this in engineering 3b um, it works through a mechanism with the mousetrap and that spins the wheels the whole point is to see how far it can get, and we're using the hallway to track how far it goes. Hi, I'm Bobby. I'm Amelia. And this is our mousetrap car. Um, it, it didn't take us too long. We put we used cardboard as the body, so it's like lighter, and it goes it can go faster. The ability to fly, because some people are weird and I don't want to read their mind. I would say read minds. Um, I think it's, it would be a good idea to figure out what everyone's thinking, even though it is messy. Uh, I'd rather be able to fly. I got free transportation. Uh, I'll probably want to um, read minds because I'd like, be wanting to know what like people saying about me. Uh, I'd rather fly because I like get from here to there real fast. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fly. I'll fly for sure. Get there real fast, real fast, quick. Uh, I would want the ability to fly. Probably fly. I'd rather read minds. Um, I'd probably say read minds. Okay, I think I would rather fly just because I want to be different. <laughs> read minds. I like to see what people think about me sometime. Hi, I'm Mary Beth Vanderhoek and I'm the director of theater here at Riverwood and we are about to open our fall play, Lend Me a Tenor. And this is our beautiful set. Uh, we're very excited about the show. It opens tonight at 6.30. It plays tomorrow, Friday at 4.30. So if you want to stay after school and come see a great show, please do. And we're also here Saturday at 3 and 6.30. Tickets are available on GoFan. They're $8 for students and $15 for adults. And I happen to have with me two stars of our show, the Brothers Link, as I like to call them. This is Finley and Simon Link, and uh, they're gonna tell you a little bit about what you will see on this fabulous stage. Simon? Howdy. Uh, the character I'm playing is called Max, and he's, he's sort of, he works for uh, a big boss man named Saunders, and they help run a, an opera company. So my character's name is Tito Morelli. I'm this big, famous Italian opera singer, and I come to the little opera house in Cleveland to perform a show. However, due to an unfortunate situation, um, I have to dress up and pretend to be Tito Morelli, and hijinks ensue. Indeed, gentlemen, hijinks ensue. Come out and see us. We appreciate the support. <laughs> 